Hi students, this is Professor Schimmel and I'd like to talk to you about the test for hydrogen sulfide production. We use a media known as triple sugar iron auger. It's a slant. It contains the pH indicator phenyl red in it. Uh, it's called triple sugar because we've got three carbohydrates in here, glucose, sucrose, and lactose. Uh, also in this tube, we have some iron salt and the amino acid cysteine. Now, so lots of things going on, uh, potentially at least, in this tube, and I'll talk about those in a moment. First of all, let's talk about inoculating uh, TSI, or triple sugar iron auger. You're going to use your inoculating needle rather than your loop, so before you flame your needle, straighten out the wire, flame it, uh, remove a little bit of the organism from the slant that the lab tech provided you with, and then you're going to stab the organism into the butt of the tube, and then as you withdraw the needle, you also streak the slant. It's really important that you get some of the organism under the surface of the auger, trapped in the, in, in the bottom part of the butt of the tube. Um, okay, now you will incubate, um, I believe 24 to 48 hours, check your lab manual for incubation times, and let's talk about pos uh, possible reactions. And there, there will be some photos of reactions at the end of this video. Now, um, let's look at the name of the auger again, triple sugar iron auger. Uh, I already mentioned we've got glucose, sucrose, and lactose in there. If the organism ferments one or more of those carbohydrates, we're going to see the auger change from red to yellow. Now, honestly, we're not particularly interested in that reaction. I just wanted to explain it so you understood what was going on in that test tube. The reaction we are interested in is this. Can the microbe ferment the amino acid cysteine? If it can, one of the end products produced is called hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is a gas, and it's pretty stinky. They sometimes call it the rotten egg gas. Now, again, it's a gas, and so if hydrogen sulfide was simply formed on the slant, it would evaporate away and we wouldn't have any way of knowing that it had been produced. That's why we're trying to trap some under the surface of the auger. When hydrogen sulfide gas re, um, comes into contact with iron salts, a black precipitate will form. That's a positive test for production of hydrogen sulfide. So if part of uh, the auger or all of the auger changes to black, that means we have a positive reaction for production of hydrogen sulfide. Okay, photos to follow and uh, so will more videos. Thanks for watching.